So this is my latest project. Uh, it's a bench, solid cherry. I took it from a design by Henry built. Um, the top is not finished, it's just roughed out. Uh, but as you can see, it sits on my bench really securely, really level, really level, um, very stable. Problem is, let's take the camera. This top is very thick, very large, and there are gaps where it beats where it meets the uh, the base and in fact quite a large gap um, and that needs to be resolved so uh, one thing I could do obviously is joint the bottom of this and I actually took out a lot of the twist in the board but it is very twisted you can see here the, the growth rings it's a very wide board so there's going to be movement um, so that's I've got to somehow fix this. And the other th reason uh, I didn't want to joint the whole board is that it only sits on. I'm only really concerned about this inch here. Um, what happens in the middle of the board is is irrelevant. It's not uh, it's not in contact with the base. So really, I just need it to mate properly on the perimeter here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is use my track saw um, to essentially cut a straight line along there um, and then clean that up with a, a shoulder plane um, and that should give me a really good tight fit uh, so we'll see how it works so the first thing I've got to do is make sure that um, this this surface here the top of the base is level and for that I use uh, this woodpeckers um, stick and what it's got is it's good for shelves but it actually works really well you can position this to shelves and then mark your you know shelf positions all the way around so what you need to do what i do is i go around and i find a low point on this knowing that my bench is dead flat um, and actually i found the low point and it's in the middle of this rail over here so i drop I drop this this top out the way. I drop this down so that it's contacting the low rail. Now I can go with a pencil or a pen or whatever and I can just mark here like so. I want to be able to mark on every corner um, where that line is. Okay, so I'll go and finish that. So I now have on every corner an exact distance from the base. So I just, whoops, so I just went around and marked here, turned it and marked here. And I've done that on all four corners. It's very useful uh, in certain situations, this woodpecker's um, uh, story. Okay, that's worked out well. So here's the result. Really good, totally level, and I should be able to go to any place on this base. Middle of the rail, corner. And they should all be dead on. No twist at all. All right, on to the uh, top. Okay, now it's time to fit the top 
to the base and what I've done is I've gone round um, the base and I found the two places where one on each side where the base contacts the top. So there's one here and there's one there. The top is in twist. Um, I don't want to clamp it too tight because because of the thickness of this it will actually pull this out of um, it'll twist the base. So I know the base is good. I want to correct the top to fit the base. So it's lightly clamped. Now I'm going to find the gap and do the same process with my um, woodpecker's thing here. So the high point on the top is actually this corner here, which is convenient because it's where the camera is. Um, so I've set my mark for this one here. like so, and I'm just going to mark there and mark on this edge as well because I'll need to see that mark when I come to remove the um, that side. So I'm going to go and mark all of these corners. Okay, and then set up. I need to release this material. Um, the track saw has run along here. Now I need to come in from this side and release that. Uh, I went along it with a marking gauge and a veneer saw. So in the thin parts it's released, but now I need to come back in with a chisel and just knock it out. Um, because I'm splitting the grain here, I've got to come from this end because the grain runs off here. If I come from here, it's gonna dive into the wood. So it's just a simple matter of gently tapping all the way along. There, you can see how it's split out. If I was coming in from the other end, there again, it's split. That would be a problem. Big split. So here's the result. Um, came together, absolutely no problems. Um, I've just got it sitting in its rebate here. As you can see, it's level in both directions. And it's dead flush, no gaps at all. It's as good a result as uh, I could have hoped for. Thanks for watching.